Here is another kinetic sculpture. Actually, it's the last piece I've done. And it's a little different in that it has um, other materials besides brass. <laughs> it has a glass ball, a glass float. I think, I think it's an original that came across the ocean from Japan, found on the Oregon coast, <laughs> or maybe found in an antique shop. <clears throat> And then also these forms, these small forms, are actually polyester plastic resin, which then I shaped and refined and polished. Partly my, my desire was to use other materials besides the brass and kind of make them uh, work together. And of course there is the motor, the microcontroller, the gears, uh, the rod within the shaft. And I'm kind of using ball bearings a little more. You can see the uh, steel color there. Uh, so that the weight really of the upper, or so let's say this arm, rests on the inner part of the ball bearing. Then that is connected down the shaft uh, with the outer part of the ball bearing. So the little balls in there themselves take the weight. And that allows quite a nice motion, making use of uh, angular momentum. So the microcontroller kind of speeds up the motor, speeds up the rod and then stops abruptly, and that allows the form that's really attached to the tube, right there, to keep going. And a nice continuation of motion. And so, then my newest piece, uh, the same general uh, procedures, by kind of branching out with the forms a bit more.